this off season. Most definitely, I had to get back, you know, right because you know, like guys like Billy Bowman and you know uh, Woody and RJ, they're not going to wait on me, so I had to get, add weight. You know, we're going to a new conference. I had to bulk up. You know, take care of myself and make sure I'm ready to go. What's the biggest way you've, you've made so far as far as just the, the most you've weighed? Most weight, I'll say I've gained about 10 pounds, so like 190 up to 190. Can you still run the four? What? Oh yeah, still fat. Four, four, still fat. Four, three, eight. Yeah, four three, four two. Yeah, okay. still up there. Patrick yeah. Brent mentioned the other day that you, know, you played a lot of football last year, mm -hmm. but probably only finished like four games. Mm -hmm. How? What has it been like uh, this off season and to start preseason camp? Mm -hmm. You know. Learning more about the cornerback position. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, first and foremost, I want to give a lot of praise to Smitty and uh, his staff and changing my whole mindset. You know, I have to be able to push through. You know, when you're going through it, because every day is not going to be perfect. Every day is not going to be great. And you know, I feel like my mindset has changed, and I want to give all praise and glory to them and Coach Venables and Fala and all of them. You know, so I just got to be able to push through for my guys on this team. You know, they're counting on me, and I'm counting on them. So I really got to continue to grow. How hard was that last year? Still. It was tough. It was tough. It's something that you know no player really wants to go through when you want to have success and you want to play with your brothers. But it's something I'm glad I went through, and I know what I don't want to go through this season with my brothers. Was there anything complicated or unusual about the surgery? Any difficulties that you had? No, everything went good. You know, I'm feeling great. You know, excited to be back and hungry, hungry. Defensively, it's not the SEC that it used to be. A lot more teams throw the ball, and you know, you see a lot, a lot more prolific offenses out of there. Is that is that exciting as a as a defense to uh, you know get challenged like that this Most year? Most definitely. You know, you're going against the best conference in all of college football. So I think, you know, when you have best you're obviously gonna have great players on our offensive side and we're gonna see that week after week. And I think, you know, the cream rises to the crop. You know, we're excited for that competition, but we take it day by day. We're in camp right now. We had today and we're worried about today right now and we're worried about tomorrow tomorrow. Can you walk through just tell kind of like the fans what it your shoulder felt like last season so that they mm -hmm. kind of understand what you were going through like between a good shoulder and a bad shoulder for you mm -hmm. and what you know mentally. You know, for me, you know, um, a couple games I had it slipped out, you know, just being honest, and that's not something that any player wants to go through, but mental toughness. I mean, every football player has something not go their way, and I got to understand be mentally tough. You know, I've had my surgery, I've had my rehab, and I'm ready to go. What kind of able progress to have you seen from Jackson this, this since spring? You know, we all got to see him in the spring, but mm -hmm. just this summer and, and training camp, what have you seen from him growing growth wise? I say his overall growth from when he got the start against Arizona. You know, he stepped in, been a leader. You know, Dylan did a great job when he was here, but Jackson's doing a great job as well. You know, he's building on top of that. And he understands that he has great weapons. And I think he's doing a really good job of weaponizing those weapons, if it's the running backs, the receivers, tight ends, just being an overall leader on this team. You were able to go through summer and you were able to complete the summer. So you're mm -hmm. getting some development. You're getting a getting chance to go through training camp. Yes, sir. And you've been a fantastic player just on natural ability, but how much is it going to help you to actually get this these practices and development and things like yes, that? Yes, sir. That's very right. You know, and that's something that, you know, Coach Falai preaches that you have to, like, do the reps. You have to be in the fire and go through the hard times and tribulations, and that's something I've really been able to do right now. And I just give, you know, praise to Coach Valai, Venables, and Allie for them giving me this opportunity to really, you know, get these reps that I need to get better and not just use my athletic abilities. Venables said that you've been developing quickly this summer and fall. Do you feel like you're on that path, and, and how so? I just keep my head down. You know, I don't really look too deep into things and, you know, how I'm developing. If I keep my head down, if I make one progress every single day, then I'm doing something good, you know. And that's been my mindset, and that's just going to continue to be my mindset through the season. Outside of you and Woody at the contract spot, can you talk about some guys who feel maybe that aren't big names and mm -hmm. might be bigger names in the rotation as the season goes on? Most well, definitely. You know, let's start with Kanai Walker. You know, he played a lot of snaps because, you know, my mishaps last season. So he's definitely stepped into a bigger role, and I'm, I'm happy to see that he's maturing. Des Malone, you know, we brought in a transfer, older guy, but doing a really excellent job learning the system. And then you got Jacoby Johnson, I think probably one of the best athletes in the country just off, you know, per pure ability, and you have Day Day, and you have um, Newcomb as well. Just guys that, you know, they're learning. You know, they came in during the summer, but they're learning, and they're eager to learn. I think that's the biggest thing when you can do that. Everybody talked to defensively says that they think that this could be the number one defense in the country. You that confident too? You know, I'm confident, but I'm confident in the work that we have to do every single day. You know, we got to take it one day at a time. You know, number one defense in the country is not something we should be talking about right now. It's what can we do to be better today and where our feet are. What do you feel like you guys need to do the next three and a half weeks to be ready for the season? 
You know, just communicate, listen to the coaches, you know, you know, take the feedback that we're doing good at practice and take the feedback that we're doing bad at practice. You know, you're not going to have a perfect practice, but you got to aim to be perfect every single day. And I think that's what we're doing a really good job of. Do you enjoy camp? You seem like you enjoy camp, even though it's a grind. Mm -hmm. It's a grind, but, you know, you're here with your brothers and you're not here forever. You know, that's something that I've been in my mind. So you're not here forever and you got to really live in the moment while you're here. Is this the most talented defense you've played with since you've been here? Potential, but you know, we can't live off potential. You know, um, since I've been here, we've had a good group of guys every single year. Um, I think it really helped that everybody came back. You know, the overall knowledge is there, so I think that's helped us. How hard is it to 